Hey everyone and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Origins. On this video we're going to be doing the side quest, Time Hotep's Song. And uh, when I last left off, I was on these boats over here, it automatically brought me to this town. Which I hadn't been to before, so now I can fast travel here. And its name is very odd, it's Per Copy In Inwe. Something like that. So anyways, our side quest is down in Memphis, right here. I'm gonna fast travel to the center. <gasps> okay, and there is a building around here that has a bunch of treasure in it. I think it's right up here. Yep, this is the one. Ooh, 200 drachma. Sweet. Oh, sorry, kid. Let it be written that this temple shall henceforth be a vessel for all worldly possessions belonging to the noble houses of Egypt. May these walls keep safe everything that they hold most dear. As I loot everything I can. Oh well, already started. Can't stop now. Okay. That is everything in here. Why do you weep? Your curse is lifted. You have lost a child, so you should understand that a mother's fear never ends. Nor does a father's rage. Fear and rage are fair replies to life's fragility. Please, leave me to my tears. Neb, if you will follow me, we must give her privacy. Is there anything I can do to ease her? Hmm. She has found the ritual protection in an ancient scroll. Only a few ingredients remain to be... I'll find them. Wait, Neb. An impatient soul is a troubled one. My lady needs parts from fresh-killed sacred birds. And would you kindly bring a fertility talisman in blue faience? There is a shop south of the temple basin where such items may be found. I will meet you on the road to the pyramids afterwards. May you prosper. Okay, we got our quest. Timehotep's Song. Timehotep implores Bayek to help her in the preparation of a ritual to protect her unborn child. Bayek encounters Timehotep, the wife of the high priest Pasharemta, weeping in her garden. Though no longer being poisoned by the lizard, she still fears for the safety of her unborn child. Bayek offers, to help, uh, Bayek offers to help her assemble the items needed for a protective ritual that will guard her pregnancy against harm. The reward is 3,000 experience. We need to find the shop and get a fertility talisman. And it's right there. I will get the ritual item first, and then hunt down the birds. We should already have the bird parts, but if not, we can go hunt some down. Oops, sorry. Clear the way. Hurry. Stop you. Right there. An abandoned tomb. The maid servant said there was a shop here. Strange place for a shop. Oh, no. Welcome to my humble shop. A Magi? How surprising. Seeking magical runes? Statuettes of uncommon value? I have not seen your kind in some time, Magi. We are a rare breed. As are merchants who set up shop in a tomb. My customers appreciate privacy. They do not seem to appreciate variety. 
My customers know I can provide what they seek. I hope you can do the same for me. May I have a look around? But of course. I'll leave you to browse. Excuse me, but I have some business to attend to. I'll be back soon. Investigate the shop for a fertility talisman. Where is the talisman made of blue faience? And in the second chamber lie the worldly goods of Arapolo and Shesh to protect them and provide them sustenance. The message is incomplete. I wonder what the rest of it says. Hmm, nothing of value in this room. Why would the merchant sell such cheap goods here? Ah, she is hiding something. Inventory. The talisman in blue fence is listed here. New inventory: 18 Secum style sistrums, one death collar, gold with lapis beads. Wonder what a uh, death collar is. Two onk shaped mirror cases in gold leaf, one nursing isit statuette in alabaster, one fertility talisman in blue fence, three birth bricks with depiction of Hathor, 20 wax figurines female, 30 wax figurines male. 5 Ostraka, Burial Chamber of Djoser. 45 Demotic Spell Papyri. Various. Demotic Spell. Hmm. I should keep looking around. The merchant did not want me to see this part of the shop. These goods must be stolen. <laughs> His goods must be stolen. I will steal them. A fertility talisman. Tamhotep will be pleased. That is all the items. Now to meet Tamhotep on the road to the pyramids. Okay, and indeed I do have the bird parts. Ah! You have browsed long enough, Medjay. Have I now? <gasps> He just sent three guys. Does my reputation not precede me? Three guys. Okay, we need to go 600 meters. Can we get closer? Uh, we can. We could go here. Although that's not a whole lot closer. Plus, I'd have to jump down. Um, this one's on the road, at least. Eh, you know what? Let's just go from here. Plus that. Filakes is coming this way. Oh, he's right there. Run away! Alright, I should be able to go through here. Let us journey forth, bosses. Why is bosses going so slow? I'm on the road, dude. Speed up. Let's see, am I going this way? I think so. Oh, shouldn't have been in the road. Not a good idea. Alright, do I go there? No, I go this way. And we haven't been back here before. Looks like a merchant area. Whoa. <laughs> I found what you need, Tamhotep. The seer spoke truth when he named you Deliverer. 
My ritual must be performed in the moon shadow at the base of the pyramid of Josa. Will you guard me and my maid until it is done? There may be dangers on the road as well. Gladly. Then let us ride to the pyramid and wait until the night unfurls in splendor. Whoa. Got my bow ready. This is uncertain country. Why not bring more guards? My ritual must remain private. Is that also why we travel off the main road? Yes, it is less safe but more secret. The lack of a son lowers my husband in the esteem of the people. And if they knew of the babes I have lost, his ability to compel the gods would be called into question. There are whispers against him already. My troubles bring shame to him and to me. Nebet, it is not your fault. Hush, Mara. I know you mean to be kind, but the scrolls are clear. The woman is the carrier of the child's sex. I do not believe that, Nebet. Oh, Mara, we have had this conversation before. Let us be quiet now, in case our voices carry to unfriendly ears. Good idea. Who's after me? Ah. Boom, headshot. Another headshot and headshot. Oh, didn't even see that guy. Oh, bad shot. Here. My sword stands between your ritual and any who threaten it. Fatah's blessing on you. Interesting style pyramid there. Walk slow enough, time Otep. Oh, don't fall off the edge. Every morning of my childhood, my father and I spoke the prayer of the Medjai, a promise to those in need. I am a Medjai. I am a feather in the eagle's wing, a living dagger plunged from the sky into the heart of chaos. I am a truth unknown, a scabbard unfilled, a son of the Nile, and a defender of the people. You cannot kill me, for I walk among the dead. Come forth by day, and I will guide you home. My son should have learned this prayer from me. And quest completed, 3,000 experience, that gets me to level 30. New ability point, I believe I still need one more though. And apparently I don't have to take Time Hotep back. Alright, while we're here, let's do a couple uh, of locations. We'll do this one I passed by, and then we'll go up to the pyramid, and then I think we'll call it quits. Not sure where I got this horse from, but okay. It's a fast horse. <laughs> the dude saw the horse coming, but not me. All right. Hmm. 
probably killed most of them on the way in. Because I'm not seeing any. Hey! Oh, there's somebody. Hi! Right in your shoulder. And location completed. Another 300 experience. Let's go climb this pyramid. It seems to be coming apart. That'll make it easier to climb though. Taller than it looks. <clears throat> and here we are. Okay, so let me show you some stuff that got updated today, at least that I noticed. Um, on the map, now the locations you've completed are outlined in yellow. So it makes it easier to see what you've done. Plus they have a little check mark too. I don't think the check marks were there before either. Uh, let's see, also under gear, you can now hide bikes uh, headpiece, his hood or helmet, whatever he's wearing, and you can give him his old hair back and beard. So I I do like his old hair and beard, so I'm going to keep that. Whether I want to keep the hood or not, I'm not sure. I do like the hood, but I think we'll go hoodless at least for a little bit. Uh, let's see, we got a new ranged weapon, the Tiltuba Bow. We got two new shields. Well, three actually. No new crafting available. Abilities, two points, we need one more. And no new inventory. Okay, we're all done here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.